Hey y'all, welcome back to Sun Cherry Farm. Today I'm going to do a video of harvesting some of my fruits and vegetables. But I had just stopped here for a moment to deadhead. This blueberry bush is one of the things that I'm going to harvest today. And um, if you notice, they're looking perfect. And there are quite a few on here to harvest. So, I want to tell you a little bit about the blueberry bushes. What I did when I planted these, I planted um, two different varieties. They're probably at least 15 feet apart. And when I planted these two blueberry bushes, when I dug the hole, I put a mixture of peat moss, garden soil, blood, blood meal, and bone meal down in the hole. Mixed it in together real good. Of course, I put my plant in there, my bush, and I loosened um, the soil on the bottom to make sure that the, root, that the roots adapted to the new soil. And then, um, after I covered the hole, then I put soil acidifier around the outside of the bush to where the drip line was um, about two inches round with the soil acidifier. And this bush has done very well each year. I think I got like between this plant, this bush, and the bush like 15 feet over there, I got at least 10 um, quarts along with what we ate fresh. So we did freeze at least 10 quarts last year. And then I um, put the soil acidifier <clears throat> around the outside of the bush at least twice a year. Uh, once at the beginning of the spring and then about in June. And turn this to the The berries get big and blue. has had quite a few clusters. I'm gonna pick a few more on here and then I'm gonna to move to the backyard so we can see what we have around there to harvest. I did want to show you, not sure how well you can see it on the camera, but there is a lot of new growth on this bush this year. Also, if you look down to the bottom, if you can see the green stalks coming up there. So, and then on the ends, but there is a lot of new foliage. Not bad for the per first pickings. That'll go good in a fresh salad with spring mix. I just noticed that this plant, this new bush that I planted this year, has some that are already ripe on it also.
I wasn't sure if I was going to get any off of this plant, this bush, because um, I had transplanted it. This is the one that my neighbor and I had um, went to a friend of hers because she no longer wanted them. And it has new foliage on it also. Sorry that my dog is barking at someone that is running down the road. They're jogging. This one's loaded, but none of them have turned yet. So hopefully we'll be getting some off of it soon. I work three days straight every week and it is so hard on me that I do not get to come out here and water all of my flowers and other stuff when it's not been raining. And, you know, with working 12 hours a day, sometimes I don't get out of there in 13 hours. And then, well, if you consider the ride, 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back. And so you're looking at 14 and a half hours every day for three days straight. And then, wanting to water my flowers that are hanging off of my deck that don't really get the water that they need because they're right up under the edge of the roof. So a friend of mine came over yesterday because she and I were going to, went on a day trip. So that was another day that I was not gonna be able to water, but it did rain some yesterday morning. So she came over and started watering my stuff and set my petunias out so that the rain uh you know would water them some also but nothing like a friend that comes over and helps you when she sees a plant in dire need of watering okay so she and i harvested four of the strawberries off of here yesterday there's no more strawberries at this time to harvest there is a few here that are still green and some other flowers that are budding the berries. There is one sun gold here ready. There's a couple more there that are turning. I did determine that this one is the sun gold uh, because yesterday when we pulled those six off, I believe it was, they were perfectly ripe when we bit into them. So since I'm only pulling one off, I might as well just eat this one now. Mm. Mm. Yes, it's delicious and it is right. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit. Yesterday she and I also picked a few of the blackberries and they were delicious also. So I may go down and pick a few of those because they would go good in the salad also. one's still a little bit red, but it'll still be good in a salad.
Doggies barking at the runner, going back the other way. years ago I had planted some strawberry plants back in here and I never really did get anything off of them it looks like this year I may get something because there's some strawberries growing in here so we'll be checking back on this area I'm gonna finish picking what few blackberries that I can get to from the backside and then We'll go to the rest of the garden. also have a banana plant coming back up there oh not sure what this is huh if anyone knows what this is let me know it almost looks like watermelon not really sure that might be a lovely surprise Laura's taking her a rest up under the deck. For those of you have, that have not watched before, this is my dog, Amora. She is a miniature schnauzer, and we've had her since 2012. December 2012, as a matter of fact. Today is June... Uh, don't remember the date. Let's see like the 20 24th or 25th I'll put the date on the screen she loves to walk with me out in the garden if you guys like to see her in the video hit the like button right now so that I know to include her more I know you may see her every now and then walking around but I never really get any shots of her unless she walks into the into the picture just wanted to let you see a little update on my garlic I would say either by Friday or Tuesday of next week I should be braiding this garlic oh my goodness I don't know if you guys were watching a few days ago but I had told you that this was the spaghetti squash plant on the other side of my garden so last video I had picked one on the other side which was my very first spaghetti squash that I picked this one is um, I guess you could say on the left side of the chicken coop want it to squeeze my berries but there it is and here is the other one so with these being my first ones not really sure how big they should have been but maybe I can look it up and find out if I have let them get too big but anyway we'll see what we can do with those tonight and then there's another one growing there. There's probably a few more in there. Yeah. There's a little one there. So. Squash and zucchini are something that get really big within a matter of a day or two. So you really have to watch out and um, keep your eye on them and get them picked before they get too big. Here's another one here. So there's at least four on this side here that I need to keep my eye on over the next couple days and make sure that I get them picked in time. Just noticed that 
every one of my corn have tassels on them now. So what's gonna happen is these tassels are gonna pollinate the corn down below them. And that should determine how much corn that I get. So when you see corn planted in a field, you usually see about that much distance between the rows, maybe less. But what happens is when the wind blows, like it is blowing right now, those tassels drop the pollen or, or whatever it is that helps to fertilize to make the corn. And I'm hoping, because I have two different types of corn here, it's not gonna cross pollinate in some way and mess up the corn. But on one side, I have candy corn, and on the other side, I have peaches and cream. So we'll see what ends up happening with that. So I know if you look at my very first video, it says that I've been gardening for 20 plus years. That includes like when I was a child growing up helping my mom plant corn and green beans and you know onions and planting everything in her garden. And I just did what she told me to do. And like I had told several times in my other videos, especially my garden tours, that my mom always planted her green beans in the same hole with her corn so that her green beans could grow up her corn stalks. So that's what I did with this. I also planted the squash because uh, there is what is called the Three Sisters Garden that the Indians, the native Indians here in the United States, that's how they planted. And um, so if you notice here, I got green beans vining up the corn stalks. They were also supposed to grab onto the cattle panels over there, which they, they have. The green beans have grabbed onto the cattle panel. But they're also still, if you see, it's going all the way up the corn stalk here. Not sure if you can see that in the video or not. But. And then this little spot right here. You can see that. So I'm going to reach in here and see if I can uh, harvest some green beans. I know that there was some the other day that uh, looked like they were ready and then there was some more that looked like they were going to be ready within the next day or so. So I'm going to see what I can harvest out of these and I'll show you. Probably should bring some snips out here, some garden snips, some garden scissors, because I don't want to pull my vines off of my green beans. This one is really long. I'm not sure if you can see how long that is, but that is really long. That's the longest green bean. Found another spaghetti squash. This is on the right side of the build, uh, chicken coop. Wanted to tell you another uh, quick fact about growing the corn and the green beans together. The nitrogen, nitrogen off of the green beans helps the corn to grow. So here on the cattle petal trellis, arbor trellis, I have noticed that I have plenty of the purple potted green beans, or purple potted beans, I'm sorry. It does look like I'm gonna have some purple potted beans. I think that I will pull the larger ones and then just let the other ones grow because I wanna try some of these purple potted mixed in maybe with the green beans. I will look 
and see if that's a good idea or not. But um, it looks like I'm gonna have a pretty good bit of the purple potted green, or purple potted pole beans. So. We're definitely going to have some type of pole beans for supper tonight. Whether it's the green bush, or not bush, Blue Lake. It's either the um, green Blue Lake pole beans or the purple potted pole beans. Or the mixture. I'll give you an update on that when we cook and find out. This is what we have so far. Guess what? Do I need to say more? I have a tomato blushing. Okay, I think today is the day that I pull up at least one of these potato plants to see if I have some potatoes. Oh yeah, I think we hit a gold mine. So it looks like we will have some red potatoes and green beans tonight after all. And I have some zucchini that I had picked earlier. So we will also have the zucchini. Look what I found. <gasps> I'm so excited. And there's another one over there. But this one is... As long as my finger, and my finger is at least two and a half inches. So it's maybe two and a half inches in diameter. Oh, sugar baby. I love you. And guess what? There's another one, not quite as big, but oh, okay. I didn't see this when I was out here earlier either, so lucky me. This is definitely the Sweeties 100 plant. I like Sweeties. I also have some onions to harvest. So, let's see. I only want to just pull up two. So, I am going to pull up one on this end this one looks like a nice big one to pull up. And that one's either going to be a sweet or a yellow. I couldn't remember exactly if I planted the sweet on the left and the yellow on this second because the white are over here to the right i know those are white i know these are the red here so this has to either be the sweet or the yellow and on the left side has to be either the sweet or the yellow so i'm gonna pull up this one get my hair out of the way pull up this one here and then i'm just gonna try both of them and I'm gonna see which is which. That way I will know in the future, when I do go to pull the rest of them up, which were the sweet and which were the yellow. 
So this is all of my harvest today. I have some blueberries, some blackberries, some green blue lake pole beans, and some purple potted pole beans. I have some spaghetti squash, I have some red potatoes, and I have one yellow and one sweet onion. So we're gonna try these out and see what we can make for dinner tonight. The chickens are already roasting, but they don't feel too comfortable with me in here. They're like, you're stirring up the roost, get out of here. I also had to collect the eggs though. She can hatch them, but she can't. Sorry, ladies. Are you going after me up there? Ow! Okay, I'll leave you alone till tomorrow. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you would like more alerts, you can also hit the bell and it will tell you every time that I upload a video. And it would be nice if you would share this with all your friends on social media, especially if they garden. And if anybody wants to leave me a comment on anything that you've seen today, if you have any recommendations, I like to take constructive criticism so that I can be a better gardener. And hopefully maybe you've seen something that helped you also. So again, I thank you for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, may your garden be blessed and you have a bountiful harvest.